Hey, I'm David Pingree here with Racer X Films, and uh, we're here in beautiful, swampy Lake Elsinore, California, for Ryan Villapoto's championship party. In case you hadn't heard, he won a few races this summer, got himself another title. Uh, Thor, Monster, Parts Unlimited, uh, they've all put on an awesome event today. We're going to do some jet skiing, some wakeboarding, some wake surfing. We'll see what's up. going to be jet skiing a little bit, having some fun. It's cool, it's a little different than moto. All right, here we are. We found the man himself, Mr. Coppertone Tan, Ryan Villapoto. Bud, how was the year? Uh, you know, it, was, uh, it went good. Uh, Supercross was a little rough, as everybody's seen, and then uh, turned around outdoors, um, did what I wanted to do there, and, and got that third championship locked up and uh, moved on. This is the uh, start of the second week of riding, you know, the 450 on the Supercross track. Well, what's your most memorable moment from the summer? We're going to go around and ask some people that. Um... It's hard to say because there was there was a lot of good races. Um, I wouldn't say there was any of them that were like really stuck out. That was like, oh, that that's the best one. But I mean, I had a lot of good battles, a lot of come from behinds. Um, I mean, there was I wouldn't say just one. There was quite a few of them that were you know that were good races that that I uh, none of them really stuck out in my head. What about when Dungey whipped you at Washougal? Is that awesome? Um, you know, he, he did beat me. Um, I was kind of bummed, you know, that was the home track. I wanted to get get a win there. I never have won there, and uh, it just didn't work out, you know. the It uh, had a little, uh, a rock hit my, hit my goggles, and uh, anyways, it was a lap to go, basically. So, you know, who knows if I would have got him, but, you know, it was, uh, it was a good race, and, you know, that was, uh, you know, his first win, so that's kind of cool, too. What are the chances of you getting a good even tan today? Probably it's going to go from straight white to red, so I, I don't know that tan, it's going to skip that real quick. He's going to be pink by the end of the day, but we're going to celebrate anyway. Victor and MC, and then there's some dudes out here with helmets on. They're pro. We're getting lap times on them at about uh, 25 seconds. I'm at about 55. Uh, I haven't done one lap without crashing yet, but hey. I'm still working on my setup. All the races are memorable. Uh, some of them are heartbreakers, but you know he pulled it out at the end and won a championship. Millville was a good weekend, even though he didn't get the overall. We still we did we went there and done what we were supposed to do, and I would win the championship. And so every race is fun to me. I think the turning point or the most memorable moment for me and Ryan's championship quest this year is uh, I think second moto when he uh, when he ran down a uh, unexpectedly fast Josh Grant second moto at uh, in Colorado I think that was the one where I think Ryan again again served notice that uh, he's the guy to beat and I think that's kind of where the dominance uh, served its notice <laughs> My most memorable moment of Ryan's championship winning season is right now. Free meatballs. Mmm, cookies, oh, peanut butter, don't mind if I do.